Hello everybody, it's your old pal Slow Smashing with another fantastic tale of smashing and bashing. In slow motion. And in this tale, 1980s atomic lizards, yeah. Alright, NECA Godzilla, Godzilla Returns, check it out right here, I love this artwork, it's one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. We open it up right here. Look at that artwork right there. That's like a menacing Godzilla. I always like this version of Godzilla always just stuck with me. Like he just looked like a scary Godzilla from this movie right here. If you're not familiar with that one, you should go watch it because that one gave me nightmares as a kid. Uh, we're gonna look at the side right, right there and it's like a cool shot right there. Look at the back right there, yeah. And then the side view of that cool poster. Quickie the quick now. Okay, okay. Godzilla! Halfway out of the box. Alright, and here he is out of the box right there and everything. His only other accessory is his stumpy tail right here that goes on most of the NECA Godzillas right here. Look at this. It's like a, a meat Godzilla like a uh, microphone. He's like, I am a Godzilla. Thank you much. Boom, and like magic, look, microphone Zilla tail is now a full fledged tail right there. And this one did not give me any problems. I know a lot with my NECA Zilla. Look, he's just moving like, or whatever in that noise he made when the older Godzilla cartoons, or cartoons, movies. Anyway, back to the tail thing right here. A lot of them gave me trouble with the other NECA Godzillas, but this one popped right in. Um, otherwise, sometimes you do need to put him in a cup of warm, cup of warm water, or just get the heat gun. That's what I like to do. But look at him, he's just wagging his tail like that. He's like, yeah. Um, <laughs> so let's take a look at him right off the bat it's like i noticed like even for if you look at the poster right there the movie poster and watch the movie he was like a dark black like or very dark gray like color but this one he's like gray like a lighter gray color you know although i dig it it just doesn't remind me other than the look of it at least color wise as far as the godzilla from the return of godzilla movie or godzilla 1988 or whatever they called it for the u.s version yeah or the old one he's just jumping <laughs> It's like Godzilla versus Mothra or something. Okay, okay. Aside from the paint thing, this Godzilla looks pretty good. Um, well, one other thing, he looks kind of stupid with his mouth closed like that, just like. <laughs> but when you open it, he looks menacing, like I remember from the movie. And uh, other than that, I mean, his spikes look good from the movie. Spot on. He has that like tall, like smallish head from the movie. He's like Godzilla, Godzilla. Gojira. <laughs> uh, tail looks good. Looks pretty good overall. Only gripe I had was probably just the paint. That's it. And then. So, in between takes here, I have just been playing with this articulation right now. So, I'm just going to go straight to his articulation right there. Let's go with his head right here for this with Godzilla Returns. Look at his head. It just moves so good. And he gets like a lot of other like Nekazilla figures have these layered like um, articulation points. Like in his neck right there. It just work good. Some of them work okay. Some work better. This one works good. I feel like he articulates pretty good compared to other like Neka Godzillas. Look at that neck motion right there. It just has like the different layers right there. And then his jaw right there. You can do he looks kind of like stupid right there but when he opens his mouth he looks cool <laughs> well, insert Godzilla noise um, and then we go down to his arm right here his little arms they actually move pretty good they go all over the place it's like look at that side flapping the Godzilla chicken action uh, forward and backwards he even has like a bicep does he no no it just looks like it. it's just an indentation he doesn't have a bicep swivel uh, but his elbow he has like a single joint for his elbow right there and it does pretty good for a little like t-rex sized arm on this zilla version right here look at that he's like Arr! he's gonna swipe with some claw zilla action <laughs> Um, but we're going down to his wrist right there at swivel as you can see that hinge right there and it's a say oh. 
Okay, we'll insert Godzilla sounds. Um, the other little Godzilla chicken wing does the same thing. Same thing right there. And obviously, well, he does have torso action right there for like a Godzilla ab crunch. It, no, I was me trying to do it, but it didn't do it. It swivels good, like left to right. Okay. I mean, you can see the spike separation right there. And it actually blends well. I forgot to mention that. It blends well with that articula articulation point in his waist. But it doesn't really have some ab motion. It just kind of swivels around. But that's good for Godzilla. I mean, you know, going down to his big old chunky legs right there. Look at that. To go all the way out, out like that. You don't go like forward per se. It's kind of like do 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 like that. You know, the sideways. Like. could do like the Zilla celebration thing. Anyway, we'll go down to his big old meaty like, knees. I don't think he's going to have much articulation points in the knees. He has like that massive joint right there. So, it, yeah, you know, actually it's okay. <laughs> he could get it. Oh, look at that big old fat Zilla knee. <laughs> um... Yeah, and that mine's a little stiff. Actually, that's not too bad for a fat, because a lot of Godzilla joints right there, are like especially in the legs, are just kind of like limited on motion. Um, his big old meaty Zilla foot, look at that. Look at that claw work right there. It swivels and pivots around pretty good, and goes up and down. Um, his big old fat Zilla steak leg on the other one does the same thing. Look at this. This knee right here is all like locked up right here, so you can like do some stomps. <laughs> look at these he already got some cool menacing poses look at that like he especially with his leg this one you know articulation wise I say it has like a one-up over some of my other ones I have a bunch of like Godzilla like figures uh, but this one looks pretty good I'd rank it up there in the top all right, now we take a look at that Zilla tail right here. Look at all those separate like articula articulation points right there. It's just so you got different layers that makes good, and then it ends with that ball joint portion. It's kind of like a bendy tail. It is has a little bend action right there. So you get great articulation in his tails. Zilla tails always have great articulations for the most part. All right, bust out the tape right here. Let's see how tall he is. He is just over six inches, probably like six and a half inches. We stood him all the way up. Here we have him next to NECA Godzilla vs. Mothra. That's a big Zilla figure. You can tell he's bigger. And one of my favorites, Emergence Godzilla. Like that old school look. Kind of looks like the Mothra Godzilla, but he's an SH figure. Right? And he's just a tiny Godzilla you can see right there. And here we have him stacked up, small, medium, large. All right, Zilla dear, what about this box right here? Because this box getting... No, it's not getting smashed because this is like one of my favorite Zilla movies right here as a kid. I'm keeping this. I actually keep most of my Godzilla boxes, so this one is getting spared and put up on the shelf where I'll probably never use it and it'll collect dust. All right, so let's wrap up this tale. We're not going to smash this box. Let's not smash it. I love this box. We're keeping it, collecting dust and whatnot. What else is a box good for anyway? Um, but talking on this guy, he's awesome. My gripes aside from the coloring, that's what I could live with. Other thing I wish it came with was some blast effects because he had some cool blue atomic breath in that movie, but this doesn't come with it. But anyways, I still dig, dig this one. It's one of my favorite ones out of all the movies out there. But y'all let me know what you think about it downstairs in the comments below. Until next tale, smash your bell, smash your thumb, subscribe if you haven't had to already, because we are Godzilla 1985. Blasting out!